What's up? My name is Alex Costa and your accessories say a lot about what kind of man you are. You know, it's funny because as a guy, this is definitely one of those things that matter. You know, other guys and girls will check out your sunglasses, your wallet, and the other accessories that I'm going to mention in this video. For example, if I see a guy pull out a Spider-Man wallet, that has Velcro in it. I know we're not gonna be friends because we just see things differently. <laughs> By the way, today's video is about men's accessories, but here on this channel, I talk about men's fashion, hair, grooming, fitness, and I even give you dating advice. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button below, become part of the YouTube family. We are on the road to 3 million subscribers and I would love to see you here. All right, let's get into the first accessory on the list here, a cell phone case that matches your style. Because I mean, you can't be this guy, you know, like, come on, you can't be rocking a cell phone with that kind of case. Your cell phone nowadays is probably the most important accessory that you have. Everyone sees it, everyone knows what it looks like, you're gonna be, you know, holding it or on the phone or texting it and people will see what it looks like. And if you're smart, you probably have a case on your phone. If you're one of those insane people that don't have a cell phone case, I pray for you. I hope that you don't drop your phone, but honestly, you're kind of asking for it at this point. But don't just buy the first case you see because it fits your phone. You know, first make sure that it actually protects your phone because that's the whole point of the case. But, you know, you can kind of play around with the style as well. If you want a clean, classy case, for example, go with leather, you know, with like a black or a chocolate brown, a tan. I mean, that looks incredible, super manly, definitely screams gentle. That's kind of what I have on my phone now. It's not leather, but it's rubber, but it's really clean, classy, straight to the point, nothing crazy, no designs, you know, usually, Girls can get away with sparkles, designs, and all that in different patterns. But um, for men, I think a classy clean design is usually better. And something not as thick, not as big. Trust me, size matters. Number two, this is one of those that no one saw coming. An accessory that we are all wearing this year. You need a fashionable mask. So first of all, make sure it's clean, right? Throw it in the laundry if it's a washable one. Uh, make sure that you're cleaning it up because you are literally covering your nose with it, your mouth with it, and you're, you know, you're getting into your pores and obviously saliva when you're talking. So you need to make sure that you're washing your mask every once in a while. It doesn't look like this is going away anytime soon. I think we'll be wearing masks uh, through 2021, to be honest with you, at least. Hopefully that's it. But you know what? Why not invest in something that actually looks nice? This one here is so clean. Um, it stretches out really well. So it is comfortable to wear, easy to put on. I bought this right before a trip and I've been wearing it a lot because I didn't want to wear ones that weren't comfortable because you have to be in the plane wearing masks for eight hours. So find a mask that is comfortable, stylish, and easy to wash. And no, please don't be that guy wearing a bandana because it looks like you're about to rob a convenience store. Number three, a cool keychain is overplayed. I'm not usually a fan of keychains. That is why I found something much, much better. The key organizer. This key organizer here by today's sponsor, Carl Friedrich, is absolutely incredible. Let me show you why. Let's face it, you probably use your keys three or four times a day at least, and I hate having them loose and making all that noise. This keeps your keys organized. It looks awesome, and it's a conversation starter. It's not really a keychain because keychains, they don't really solve a problem, and this does. It organizes your keys inside this leather pouch, which makes your keys look so much better, more masculine, more organized. And one of the biggest factors for me was the fact that it keeps the sharp edges of, of the keys, like the jaggedy keys in here. So it prevents scratches on surfaces when you put them down or when you put it in your pocket with your phone. So you're transforming your rattly keychain into this beautiful, silent and organized accessory. It's like a Swiss army knife for your keys. And it's one of those things that you don't realize you need until you start using it every day. And Carl Friedrich is actually one of my favorite brands for leather goods. You know, I have wallets from them. I have a bag, a suitcase. And the one thing, they all have in common is the quality. They never disappoint. If you're tired of mediocre leather accessories that don't last, then check them out because their products are next level. The leather is soft, it smells good, it's so well made. I absolutely love all of their products. I'm gonna leave a link to Carl Friedrich and this beautiful key organizer below. It is the perfect gift for your loved ones, maybe your siblings, your dad, your uncle, best friend. So make sure to go check them out below. I'll leave a link in the description here. It's the first link so you can go and get your own. Next, a slim organized wallet, preferably with no Marvel characters on the wallet. And no, no DC characters either, all right? And this is funny because I actually did have a friend who had a Spider-Man wallet and he was, I mean, he was like 26. And I told him, man, I, if you watch it, I told you, dude. Not good. It just doesn't work. You know, you're gonna go pay for that dinner. You take that special lady out for dinner. 
you know, it's a nice dinner. You're about to pull out your wallet and be like, I got this, baby. And then you pull it out and it's Spider-Man? Come on, dude. And even if it wasn't, if it's like just a wallet that's filled with CVS receipts and like pictures and all these cards that you never use, like a library card, a gym card, this card, that, I'm like, why? You don't need any, do you use that stuff? No, so take it out of the wallet. Get a nice, slim, preferably leather wallet that's going to look amazing for years to come. Not only do slim leather wallets look better, they're also easier because you put them in your pocket, right? We don't carry purses around usually, so we put them in our pocket pockets and it doesn't look bulky in our pants. That is why I absolutely love slim leather wallets. That's what I always recommend you guys get. Oh, this next list on the item is something that, you know, I think every man needs, but also right now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, traveling happening, but I do think that every guy needs a nice carry-on bag. When it comes to checking your bag in, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you don't really need anything that's too nice or expensive because have you seen how those guys treat your bags? They literally grab it over here and chuck it. Like, it's like, how far can I throw this bag? Right, and it just rolls. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna get destroyed. But your carry-on bag, you handle that, you take care of that, and you have it with you from your house all the way to the new location that you're traveling to. So you decide how you're gonna treat it. I have really nice carry-on bags. I actually have one from uh, Carl Friedrich and it's amazing, it looks beautiful. It's this nice suitcase. If it's perfectly overhead when I'm traveling and it just looks really classy. So, so I recommend you guys get a nice carry-on suitcase. It's just a nice gift to yourself. When you're traveling, you know, and you have that nice suitcase with you, it just looks amazing and you feel really good. Not only about your upcoming trip, but also the way that you look going through the airport. Airport, you know, having people look at you and be like, wow, that's a nice suitcase, right? Next on the list, and if you didn't see this one coming, then uh, you're not a subscriber here on the channel yet, and you should definitely hit that subscribe button below because I'm talking about watches. Your one favorite watch, at least, that you like to wear. Today, I'm wearing this beautiful watch right here. I absolutely love the way it looks, but you can wear whatever one fits your budget. You can wear whatever one fits your wrist and fit in, in your style. And honestly, that is fine. Look, I just think that as we move forward in this digital age, everyone can tell time from their phones, right? Everyone has a phone, everyone has a smart watch, a smart wearable, whatever. But at the same time, it just doesn't look as classy, doesn't look as good. It's not as appealing as a, you know, like as a watch, as a nice watch. And when I say nice, I don't mean expensive. I just say a watch that you like. If you're getting your first watch ever, I recommend going with a nice metal bracelet or a black or a brown. Those are the three that I'd go with. I wouldn't really go with anything too crazy, red, yellow, blue, just because it matches more of your clothing. It matches more of your outfits if you have one of those three. A watch just shows that you're a classy man. It shows that you're a professional. It shows that you value time. So I think it's really important to wear a watch. I I always, always have a watch on, as you guys can tell from my videos, especially if you've been subscribed for a while. Also, something that I absolutely love, I don't know why, I just I just really like getting new ones, is a dop kit, a toiletry kit. Um, if you don't know what it is, then I'll show you. This is it right here. It's basically a toiletry bag that you use for all your products, right? Obviously, as a guy, you're gonna have shampoo, conditioner, maybe hairstyling products, toothbrush. And if you're going to your friend's house to hang out, play video games, and sleep over, come back tomorrow night, or if you're going away to Paris for the weekend, right? It doesn't really matter. Either way, you're gonna need a toiletry bag because you need to bring your product. So if you're gonna bring a plastic bag from the grocery store with your toothbrush in there, um, it's just not gonna look good. It's gonna look very, very weird and bad and amateurish. So get a nice toiletry bag. You know, I, I highly recommend you get one. This is actually, pro tip here for you guys, an amazing holiday gift as well. So I think Carl Friedrich does have some of those as well. So go check them out. I'm gonna leave the link to them in the description below so you can go check out the key organizer as well as their other products. Guys, if you learned anything new from this video, which I hope you did, then hit that subscribe button below. I wanna wish you guys an amazing holiday. Happy holidays to every single one of you who watches my video uh, my videos I really appreciate you being here and your support thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very very soon